Flipping Death was first announced over a year ago at one of the Nendy's presentations and it instantly caught my eye. I love the storybook aesthetic of it. I thought it looked really cool. It reminded me a lot of a TV show I used to love when I was a kid, Dead Like Me for anybody curious. So it grabbed me right off the bat. But now that I've been playing it, what do I think? Well, today we are going to talk about that now that I've completed the game and I'll let you guys know whether I think it is worth a purchase or not. Flipping Death comes to you from Zoink Games, which you might know from Stick It To The Men and their most recent release, Faye. The events of Flipping Death take place in Flatwood Peaks, a small whimsical town with a problem. Death is on vacation. You play as Penny and help the trap ghost with your trusted scythe. Flip the entire world around to solve puzzles on both the living and dead sides and slowly uncover the mystery surrounding your own demise. So the setup of Flipping Death is actually kind of interesting to me. You play both the living and the dead side, you're solving the puzzles, it's all really cool. You meet a cast of little whimsical characters that are super kooky and kind of funny, but if I'm honest, some of the comedy of the game kind of fell flat to me, and that just might be a me thing, maybe the sense of humor that this game has doesn't necessarily mesh super well with mine. So that's going to be more a your mileage may vary type of thing, but for the most part, I could kind of tell certain parts of the game wanted me to laugh and it just wasn't happening for me. Now don't get me wrong, I still thought that some of the characters were fun in their own kooky kind of way, but the fact that the same characters are kind of in the entire game, it got a little bit repetitive and we'll get into that a little bit here, but the cast of characters is still fun, it just didn't quite necessarily have any like staying impact, I didn't really care about anything that was happening, I just wanted to keep going. At its core, Flipping Death is pretty simple. It is a side-scroller where you collect a bunch of little collectibles to possess characters, and with those characters you solve puzzles. With those puzzles you can kind of complete challenges and unlock ghost cards, and ghost cards kind of give you backstory for some of these characters and fun little tidbits as well. The puzzles can be fun, they really can be. Each chapter has a big overarching puzzle as well as little side puzzles where you have to help NPCs figure out how they died, get revenge on who killed them, and other kinds of insane scenarios. I never got like super stuck with the puzzles or anything like that, but if you do find yourself being stuck, they have a hint system. Luckily, it doesn't tell you the answer to everything, it kind of just gives you an image and says, hey, this is what you need to be doing. You have multiple hints per chapter, and how many you get depends on the length of the chapter, but I tried not to use them as much as I could. I found that playing the game in that way is way more fun, and for the most part, I was happy with the puzzles. There was a time or two where I felt a little bit lost, but the aforementioned hint system always made it so I could progress. I I guess the bad thing is that the story wasn't super interesting to me. Gameplay always felt a little mundane and the animations were wacky. Uh, there were little glitches here and there where like my character would kind of go through the world. It's nothing big, it didn't really like affect the gameplay at all, but at the end of the day, each chapter wasn't even different enough for the previous one, so it all kind of started feeling a little bit repetitive to me. I should also make note that the loading screen between chapters are pretty long. Luckily there isn't a ton of them and besides those in between chapters, you don't really get loading screens, you do also get some narration to kind of help pass the time I guess, but they do take a while. And that, to me, is the biggest mistake of this game. It's not super long, you can finish the game in around 6 hours, maybe 5, but $20 and it just feels so repetitive, the humor doesn't do it for me and I'm not interested in the story, that kind of leaves it where I'm like, hey. I don't necessarily like this a whole lot. And again, I don't think it's bad by any means. I just think that the humor isn't for me and the story just didn't click. One of the reasons why I won't call this an outright bad game is because I can see that if this humor is something that you're really into and the story is something that you enjoyed, I, I see no reason not to like the games. The puzzles are still very interesting and they're still creative enough that it does lead to some challenge. So. Maybe watch some trailers, watch some gameplay, maybe like part one of a walkthrough or something like that, and then maybe make your purchasing decision based off of that. They have made an admirable effort here with Flipping Death. The voice acting for the most part is top notch. There is some like insane wacky noises in the game. The music is also really, really cool. But yeah, so much of it just didn't fit in together. And that's unfortunate because I was really looking forward to this. Like I said, when it was first announced, the art style alone automatically grabbed me and it caught my attention. But at the end of the day, I can't say I thoroughly enjoyed the experience the way I wish I could. I feel so conflicted about Flipping Death. There are parts I really 
like and it just didn't come together in the way that I would have wished. There was times where I finished a puzzle and I told myself, hey, that's really cool. Certain interesting things started happening with the story, but then it kind of goes places where I didn't think were like all that creative. So yes, conflicted is how I feel about Flipping Death because there's like probably a really good game in here somewhere. They just kind of missed the mark in my opinion. So there you have it. As you can see, I'm kind of conflicted about Flipping Death. I don't think it's like super good, but I don't really think it's bad either. Kind of sits right in the middle for me. And uh, the price is probably a little bit too high. Like I said, maybe wait for a sale or something to get it. That, that's probably going to be my suggestion. I still had a good time playing through it, but you know. It is what it is. So, there you have it. Let me know what you guys think about Flipping Death. Will you be checking it out once it is released this week? Sound off in the comments below. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Discord. Links are in the description for that. And we will catch you guys on the next one. Switch Force, out.